Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss what is the race condition with an example and uh, how can we uh, avoid or mitigate the race conditions when we are doing the multi-threaded programming. So it's basically pretty straightforward deadlocks we discussed in our last tutorial. So race condition is basically a common problem in, in the concurrent programming where uh, the outcome of the program depends on the order in which the thread executes. Okay, so before going into theoretical aspects, let's see an example where uh, there is a there is a variable uh, that means it is uh, uh, mutable uh, as it is a variable. Now let's say I'm doing a concurrent uh, iterations of hundred. That means it is like uh, having a hundred threads. Now inside which uh, inside which I'm accessing the mutable variable uh, where I'm incrementing it. So I've just I just want to print it and uh, show you like what happens and. Uh, see sometimes it is see the expected is always 100 but sometimes it is giving 98 sometimes 96 sometimes 99 sometimes 100 so it is not a reliable piece of code why because in a multiple multi-threaded programming we are accessing a mutable without having any uh, synchronization something and all for which I think we have discussed uh, in his log say dispatch semaphores and all so basically this is the race conditions where uh, where the outcome of the program depends on the order in which threads execute okay so concurrently the operations are happening so based on that if you can look at it of course I don't need three statements by but I just have written three print statement just to show you like how uh, the uh, this piece of code is behaving uh, generally it's, it's a type of software bug that occurs when the behavior of the output of a program depends on uh, the relative timing or interleaving of multiple concurrent operations uh, it arises when two or more threads or processes access shared data which is nothing but this race counter or resources in an uncontrollable manner that means this is not accessed in a controllable manner and the final result depends on the order in which the operations are executed so Operations, uh, operations are executed in swift programming language a race condition can occur when multiple threads access a shared resource or variables without proper synchronization resulting in unexpected behavior here are so here is the example for which this uh, a race condition happens something like that that means this is just like a hundred threads accessing a mutable variable for example i think we can for example if this is not the case what we can do is we can have uh, a global queue dispatch queue q dot global dot async or something okay here if i try like so this is just like so i can try like this for example i increment it to one so let me comment it for you so this is one thread basically correct so you go ahead and take one two three threads okay so this is one uh, okay or uh, everywhere it is one okay so what you expect uh, after this so what you expect is as is a asynchronous operation so you expect it like uh, three but what happens is if you print the race counter because of all these asynchronous operations so what happens three 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 two two correct three one correct so this is not a reliable code so at the end of uh, this i think uh, we need to have something so it's a site it's basically a type of software bug that occurs in concurrent programming when the behavior of output of a program depends on the relative timing or interleaving of multiple concurrent operations so when we execute something in an uncontrollable manner so the key characteristics of so before that i think uh, i think we can so let me comment this also before that i think we can uh, quickly fix it so uh, this we already discussed in our earlier uh, video tutorial where uh, we can use the synchronization techniques like ns logs and dispatch mfos where it's 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 as simple as so we discussed this multiple times this as simple as you take take the log and you synchronize the shared access uses so you lock it before you editing it and you unlock it once you you're done with the edit now this 
so just remove this this is uh, synchronization correct so if you can look at it so you run it any number of times you will always get the expected uh, value that means you will always get 100 so it's as simple as fixing this this is the race condition where uh, uh, the value of a mutable cannot be predictable uh, why because it, it is being accessed by multiple resources in an uncontrollable manner so it basically erases see the characteristic key characteristics and impl implications of this uh, race condition is basically there are a couple of uh, key characteristics one is concurrent execution so basically race conditions occurs in situations where multiple threads or processes are multiple threads he's here these are like 100 threads or processes are executing concurrently and accessing shared resources so each thread performs its operation independently and can potentially interfere with other thread threads correct so that's basically there is a before one thread um, increasing the counter the other thread access it and increases it okay so that's basically uh, this happens so just to show you just to show you how it happens for example uh, one thread application a application b this is the bank account of someone and whose current balance is let's say some thousand i have just taken this pic so that i can better explain the race condition so one is transferring 200 to this and another one is transferring to 500 uh, to so and so account but if there is no proper synchronization then what happens to this bank account so uh, it, it may end up with some wrong value so that's basically uh, we need to have some synchronization that means if this is transferring it has to become 1200 first and then it has to go here otherwise otherwise what happens it will end up with either 1000 plus 200 1200 or 1000 plus 500 1500 so that's basically the race condition so a shared resource if it is not accessed properly shared resource here is the variable which is the current uh, current balance correct so another example where uh, same if there is a variable actually see actually if it is a shared resource that means registry conditions typically involves shared resource if there is no shared resource that is the reason functional programming and swift programming uh, language always uh, uh, always suggests to have immutable values uh, immutable values and instead of using the loops you go for a functional uh, uh, way of programming use the pure functions and all they take the input and output and uh, give the stuff to us instead of going for uh, instead of give uh, instead of putting the uh, mutable uh, variables in the programming i think uh, we are having all the video tutorials for pure functions functional programming in this uh, particular ios also block uh, please go through it to understand uh, why multi-threaded programming suggests to or search programming suggests to have a pure functions to to avoid the mutable state so for example we have a mutable variable called a which is five for example one method and uh, x is there y is there two methods are for example let's say they are having concurrently that means without any synchronization this is incrementing it by one this is this is multiplying it into two correct so here the new value will be will be 6 and here the new value will be 10 so when these two operations are getting executed at at, at uh, one point of time at, at the same point of time so what happens either this value will become 10 or this value will become uh, 6 so end of the day what we want is 6 into 212 or or maybe based on the execution that we want so that's basically what happens when we are uh, uh, having a mutable state in our uh, so this is just a simple example but th there are m so many examples that we, that we can create for the race condition where uh, accessing the uh, shared resource is not in a proper uh, synchronized order that means uh, this uh, this particular property is not atomic uh, in, uh, so if you are an object uh, object to see developer i think you must be having an idea of what is an atomic and what is a non-atomic operation where atomic is thread safe and non-atomic is not uh, uh, thread safe correct so so basically it gives unpredictable results the uh, so just now we have seen if we don't use the locks it was giving 96 97 98 so it gives unpredictable results so the final result may vary resulting in incorrect or unexpected also sometimes this un uh, this unpredictability makes race conditions challenging to debug and it's very difficult to debug and reproduce consistently okay that's one of the characteristic and the and and, and we know what is uh, atomic or non-atomic so so basically uh, for example uh, let me say for example uh, if i have if i have to for example this property if we need to make it atomic what we need to do no so we can add something like for example uh, i need atomic counter even if in the even if uh, so it will have private uh, oh it should be a variable though, though it is a variable for example if it is having some counter let's say it is is equal to zero okay so for example i have an add 
add val so this value is also integer let's say okay so this counter value what i would do is plus is equal to this value correct so i'll go to another method and uh, add sub subtract okay subtract value minus is equal to value so this is atomic counter but atom if if we if, if it has to have the atomicity we need to have the proper synchronization so i make this as atomic property this atomic counter for example i'll show you i'll show you so here what i will do here i will lock it here i will unlock it the same thing i would do here i will lock it i will unlock it and this so and so property has become atomic why because it is properly synchronized with the use of synchronized so this is nothing but a non-atomic property of course it is mutable comma the non-atomic situations are most so the see these situations uh, cause this this race condition so what happens if this is this is the atomic counter so if if i do something like sorry if i do something like so this is right so this is mutable and non-atomic non-atomic now so now instead of this what if i do something like this so my counter is basically now it can be let so i'll just men mention it as atomic counter a count atomic let me make it as atomic atomic counter so instead of this i don't need this log stuff why because it is already thread safe this is atomic and of course of course it leads to thread safe correct so if i use atomic counter counter dot add or something oh it's not having in it okay or it can be a structure also but okay okay let me write the unit no problem no problem it's not having so let it be empty so instead of this i add it here like i don't know whether i need to put it at the top what is the method okay sorry this is the method so this lock is not required and this dot counter is something i want to access so i'll go like fuck punk get counter so it will return atomic it will return counter to me okay it has to sorry it has to return an int value so here it's all writing i managed it but as it is as it is reading so here also i think i should properly unlock it so it should be synchronizable with respect to with respect to reading sorry with respect to reading and also this is writing of course so you are subtracting you are editing that means you are writing so read and write should be perfectly synchronized so when i am writing it at the same time if i write it so then it should not so here instead of this so i'll write like dot get counter now atomic count dot add so for example value let's say the same value one i will add now the same print statement I'll, I'm, I'm just adding multiple it's not needed but i just want to add it so if you can look at it ambiguous use of init what happened just a second just a second okay but type of expression is ambiguous with more country just a second let me resolve this i don't know but let me put the document counter it's not required actually so and it can be a structure so as it is but let me keep it a class which means you what is there so that we can learn something from here 
but if I run it, it is showing ambiguous ease of ambiguous concurrent operation type of dispatch q dot is I am missing something here this is closed this is closed this is closed uh, let me let me put it as a counter so just press the name maybe below the program I may be having something where I'm using the same atomic counter somewhere or something like that so hmm it's always giving 100 but I still don't understand just a second let me let me run it here let me run it here it's running let me see or uh, let me quickly my quit my Xcode and open it back. So okay, let's print it. So what we expect is, though we are not using, uh, so as it is already an atomic counter, we sh we we don't need to do any uh, synchronization, right? Because this is already uh, a an atomic. Uh, Sorry, is there, is there something? Okay, 100. But still, I don't get counter unlock lock. But still, I don't get it. Uh, okay, every time, let's see whether, whether every time it's giving 100 or. But I think it's not printing multiple times, which I don't understand. But atomic counter dot get counter print print print. Okay. So let me take out this. So let me add something like this. A counter value, let's say. A counter is 100. 100. 100. And it will never, and it will never be. okay for some reason it's not printing multiple times which i don't know that i need to debug but okay that's fine so basically what i want to show you is so what i what i wanted to explain is uh, basically the non-atomic operations race conditions often arise when multiple uh, non-atomic operations are performed on shared resources so if we can use the atomic properties like this which are already thread safe synchronized i think we will not get these type of uh, least and not only this after that for example if you are having uh, let's say uh, subtract subtract value one and this is 50 iteration so what uh, my expected account should always be 50 at any point of time why because this is thread safe this is thread safe my expected value should always be 50 should always be 50 correct so this is thread safe this is thread safe this is also thread safe Correct. So instead of here, if I write it here or here, even my get is also thread safe. Correct. And for example, if I don't make this subtract function as thread safe, so what happens? Let's see what happens. Correct. 53, 50, 50, 50, 52. Correct. Why? Because this is not thread safe so what i can say this is thread safe this is not thread safe correct so again so this is atomic property non-atomic property something like so you take normal private one count if you don't use any synchronized process that will become a non-atomic uh, property so basically uh, so so far uh, uh, non-atomic op if you are using the non-atomic operations also this is basically when if there is no synchronization mechanism is not raised then race conditions will occur and uh, critical sections critical section refers to portions of code where shear resources are accessed or modified to avoid race condition critical section needs to be protected to ensure that that's what we just did critical section needs to be critical section needs to be this is the critical section so this is the critical section needs to be synchronized this is the critical section if we don't synchronize our critical section these conditions will, will occur correct 
so this is what we discussed in our earlier tutorial so that shouldn't be a big deal if you have not gone through my synchronization techniques like ns logs and demophores and difference between ns logs and semaphores and deadlocks and pretty much please go through my concurrency concurrency related i have around uh, i have around more than uh, eight uh, video tutorials please go through them uh, so we have pretty much discussed uh, deadlocks last week these are race conditions so race conditions uh, are very difficult to debug so this is the debugging challenge why because they will be unpredictable and uncontrolled manner okay so basically the characteristics of this race condition if we have to explain so it basically happens when there is a concurrent execution if you are doing any concurrent execution and if you have a shared resource shared resources this one earlier this is the shared resource the counter and unpredictable it will lead to unpredictable results and non-atomic operations can lead to race conditions so that's the reason we should make that our properties are atomic that means thread safe uh, thread safe in the sense we can make a property that thread safe by having by making it uh, by making the critical section of the code thread safe and uh, synchronization if critical section should always be synchronized this is the critical section this is the critical section why because you are writing and this is the critical section why because you are reading and debugging cha and the uh, synchronization is issues if, if proper synchronization is not done then also race condition will occur so these are these are different different uh, 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 characteristics of race condition which we need to consider so just to avoid we need to we need to take care of all these things why because it is very very difficult to debug a race condition so to mitigate so to no, atomic and non-atomic simply refers to in concurrent programming atomicity refers to the property of an operation to be executed as a single uninterruptible unit as a single and uninterruptible you can't interrupt it why because we properly synchronized so this is this has been we have made this value atomic how we have made this property atomic atomic that means this property basically so this property atomic how we have made it by making its critical section of the code thread safe synchronizing it okay so to mitigate this condition it is it's crucial uh, to employ uh, appropriate synchronization techniques such as logs semaphores logs semaphore semaphores goes with value whereas logs is just a single uh, semaphores or atomic operations to ensure proper sequencing or coordination of concurrent operations to share resources by you know enforcing mutual exclusion and synchronization race conditions can be preserved prevented and the integrity of shared data can be maintained in concurrent programming by using uh, synchronization techniques such as logs so what we can use we can use logs we can use and uh, uh, semaphores you can use and also we can use atomic atom atomic operations uh, and also by using atomic operations with the help of atomic properties we can avoid the race condition so race condition we have uh, uh, seen like in a mutable environment if two processor uh, two processor are accessing a critical section of the code or shared resources the race condition will happen unpredictable and unpredictable result it gives the same thing okay so that is the reason it's very difficult to debug and uh, we need to be very very careful with in the multi thread programming especially if it is a concurrent programming concurrent programming is very dangerous if you are playing with uh, mutable uh, if you are playing with the mutable uh, stuff and all so that's basically the race condition concept and how to mitigate it hope this video is helpful for you thank you